guys, welcome back. In today's lesson, I'm going to discuss a pretty cool technique you can use here, a finger picking technique that's called the claw pattern. So the reason it's called the claw pattern is because you're basically going to be using your hand as a claw. Um, so with my right hand here, to start off using this technique, I'm basically going to kind of keep my index and middle finger paired together, and then I'm going to use my thumb. So what I do is I grab the E string with my index finger and I grab the A string with my middle finger. Now you can do this on the top three strings or the bottom three strings or you can alternate your thumb. But today I'm just going to show you how to use this on the bottom three strings. So we're going to keep our index and middle finger together and we're going to grab the E and the A string. <clears throat> so you want to grab right below those strings and just start off by simultaneously plucking those strings together. So what I'm doing is I'm curling those fingers into my palm. So my index and middle curl into my palm as I pluck both of those strings simultaneously. Now the second part of this is the thumb. So after I pluck up with my fingers, I pluck the C string with my thumb. So together it sounds like this. Fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb. Now another very important element here that I don't want to forget to tell you about is planting your pinky finger on the base of the instrument. This goes for most finger picking styles. You want to do this to keep your hand in a secure position. You don't want your hand floating around when you do this. So I place my pinky on the base of the ukulele right below the sound hole. And that keeps my hand in the nice position here for the pattern. The proximity of where I like to use this pattern is right over the sound hole. So if you're up here, you're going to start dealing with the frets. If you're too far back, you're kind of out of position. So the sweet spot for tone is right here over the sound hole. So let's try that together. Grab your ukulele, make sure it's in tune, and let's try this claw pattern. And we're just doing this with open strings. So just hold the neck and let the strings ring open and just start practicing this technique. Now, when you first start doing it, keep an eye on your right hand. Watch your hand and try to manipulate your hand into doing what you want it to do. And do this very slow. So let's try this together. One, two, three, four. Now, a fun little exercise I like to do with this pattern is what I like to call the 3-2-1 exercise. So we're going to add a little left hand movement here when we play this. So to start this exercise, I want you to put your ring finger on the third fret on the A string, your middle finger on the second fret, and your index finger on the first fret. So you're going to be holding all three of these fingers down. Now we've got our claw position, we've got our pinky planted, we're grabbing the strings, and now I'm going to play through this sequence and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're going to start here, this is basically a C chord, and we're going to go four times. Then we're going to lift our ring finger, so now we just have our middle finger on the second fret and our index on the first fret. This is a C major 7 chord. Then we're going to lift our middle finger so we just have the index finger down playing a C7 chord on the first fret. And then we're going to lift the index finger so we're playing all the open strings. So we're going to do the claw pattern four times on each one of those. So Get set here with your left hand, ring on the third, middle on the second, index on the first. You don't necessarily have to have them all down, but it does help 
as you go here. So we're going to do the pattern four times on each chord. So I'll give us a four count in. Grab your ukulele and let's try this one together. One, two, three, four. Now you can try this with a variety of different chords. It sounds cool with all sorts of chords. Start by trying it on the bottom three strings with your bottom three string chords. G, C, you can try it with an F chord. Try it with open strings. Experiment around and then try to switch that up and try it with the top three strings and mess around with some of your top three string chords like D or F and just play around with this technique if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Jump over to allforyuke.com where I have PDFs, tablature, and more information on all of these videos. Thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you guys again soon. Take care.